In this tutorial, we're going to look at how we use ratios. And we can actually use ratios in the sort of obvious ratio type questions, but also for all sorts of other things like currency conversion and so on. So what are we going to do? Well, first of all, we're going to write what we know in ratio form. And sometimes that'll take more than one line, and I'll show you that as we go. And then we're going to add any extra bits that we think might be useful, like a total or a difference or a sum. And usually the question will give an indication of that. And then we're going to use scale factors to complete lines. And then, well, we just have to pick out the right answer. So let's have a go. So we have John, Kevin and Lionel are splitting some money in the ratio of their ages. And we're given their ages here. So that's um, a ratio and we're also given the total amount of money and we're asked how much does each boy get well let's write down uh, all of that information in ratio form so John to Kevin to Lionel well looking at their ages that is 7 to 9 to 10 and then looking at money, so this is the second line, well, actually we're given the total amount of money. So we need another thing here, total. And we're told that that is $130. Okay, and what is it we're trying to find? Well, actually we want to find each one of these three things here. Okay, what can we fill in straight away? Well, we can add up the ages to get the total age there. And 7 plus 9 plus 10 is 26. And now we're going to use scale factors. Okay, and the two things that we know um, in both ages and money are the total. So how do I get from ages to money? How do I get from 26 to 130? Well, as ever with scale factors, we divide the second one by the first one. And 130 over 26 is actually Five. So we're going to use 5 as our scale factor. And so all we do is we multiply each of these things by 5, and that will give us the answers we want. 7 fives are 35, 9 fives are 45, and 10 fives are 50. And so we can say uh, John gets $35, Kevin gets... Uh, $45 and Lionel the eldest of the three gets $50 and we're done right let's have a look at another question slightly different but the same principle this time we have three girls splitting money in the ratio of their ages and they are Miranda Naomi and Ottilie and they are 12 14 and 14 so again let's write down uh, that information in ratio form. So Miranda to Naomi to Ottilie and again let's write down ages there so we know what we're doing 12 to 14 to 14. Now what about the rest of the information? Naomi gets 20 pounds more than Miranda so that's going to need a new line because that's in money. And what are we given? Well we're given the difference between Naomi and Miranda. So Naomi minus Miranda in money is 20. Okay, and what are we asked for? We're asked for the total amount of money. So I'm again going to have to put another thing in here, and it's that that we're after. Okay, so we've got a lot of blanks here, but we may not have to fill them all in. Let's uh, just put the colons in for the ratios and see what we can do. Well, can we fill in anything else? We can actually fill in this one and this one straight away because we know the difference between Naomi and Miranda's age is two, 14 minus 12 is two. And we also know the total of the ages, which is 12 plus 14 plus 14, which is 40. So we can fill in those two pieces of information and now it's actually very straightforward, having laid it out clearly, to find the scale factor from 2 to 20, which is 20 over 2, or if you like, 10. And so we can just multiply the 40 by 10 as well, 
and we can see that the total amount of money is 400 and we haven't had to work out uh, the amount of money that each girl gets we could do but we don't need to okay not 200 but 400 pounds money there we go so laying things out clearly really helps i'm going to do one more question slightly different one classic age type question the ratio of rick's age to seb's age is five to three and seb's age to tim's age is four to seven and we're asked to find uh, the ratio of rick to tim okay well let's start doing this so rick to seb to tim is, well what do we know we know that uh, rick to seb is five to three and we know that seb to tim is four to seven now this is all ages down here okay but so but i do need separate lines because they're not quite um as we want them now i'm going to need a third line here i think okay uh, and the one i know the most about is seb here okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to find as it were the lowest common multiple of um three and four and rewrite these ratios using that in the middle so lowest common multiple of three and four is 12. how do i know that well actually i've just multiplied uh, three by four haven't i okay and i've also multiplied four by three so there are my two scale factors and i can now fill in this one and this one using the scale factors uh, i've just worked out so four times three is 12 and seven times three is uh, 21 and five times four is 20 and so the ratio of rick's age to tim's age is 20 to 21 and so we write that down uh, in ratio form at the end here and there is uh, another way of using ratios as i say you can use them for currency conversion and all sorts of other things